Alright, it's close to the fascinator's garage. I got my booth set up. We're going to be painting that uh, Monte Carlo. Got the paint right here. Medium red, Monterey maroon. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's just the shop line. Got my other stuff ready over here, reducer, and uh, this is the clear coat I'm using. Just the Auto Body Master from yeah, Auto Value. Uh, from Auto Value, I'm mumbling. Um, so, also here, got the holes all wiped down. Um, that's what I have for a uh, Oil water separator goes in from the compressor over on the other side and uh, goes into the black holes, comes out the red holes, into my reel. And uh, got the wax and grease remover ready. I got the gloves, and uh, this is the first spot. Oop. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna spray some, you know, base out this way. Just a little bit, you know, from the bottom up, and, uh, and then clear it. And I'll just, you know, stuff it. It's just a beater car, you know, I just practice. It's a little practice. And then uh, we got the bumper cover. Um, just primed it with some uh, SEM Flex uh, bumper cover primer. And then I uh, just sanded it down with 400 grit. Um, got the fender here. Need to fix a few spots that I didn't fill in, but you know, oh well. Like I said, it is a beater car. We kind of, you know, did things, took shortcuts, you know, and see what it does, you know. I mean, I knew more what it was going to look like, but Kevin doesn't really know what it'll look like. So that was pretty bad. It was all bent up into the fender, the mounting bolts. But it's workable now. We test fit it and everything. Uh, this had a little spot up there. So a little, you know, little black uh, guide coat in there. But and then uh, I'm gonna. This is all scuffed. I'm gonna clear the whole fender. Um, just do a little base down there. A little base down there. And then we have the rear quarter, which had a good sized dent in it. We got some before pictures, so uh, so we got that all fixed up. Uh, the little discoloration here is self fetch primary, and where I broke through, I just sprayed some self fetch on there. A little bondo or glazing putty spot there. Uh, that's just primer. Or, uh, I'll fetch it and go through there. <laughs> you can see all the sand scratches in it and stuff, so we'll see how she looks. But I mean I did it all with six hundred grit. All the primer started with four hundred really quick and then did it with six hundred. So yeah. Doing it the cheap way and see what we can get away with. So, yeah, um, oh, that light's bright. Roll edge of the door jam. So, uh, yeah, um, this light, only one light works. Oops, sorry. And got these box fans set up uh, to blow out. Um, built this frame up last night. We'll open up the garage door to the height of the fans. And, uh, that should work. You know, these other pieces, these wood, you know, the wood spots there will block crap from coming in. I mean, there'll be a little opening there, but we should be okay. Um, I'll probably wet the floor down a little bit. I got a little, mit, you know, mist. Just a little mist it down a little bit. Around 
So yeah, um, I'll, when I get more done, I'll uh, I'll take some more video and uh, <coughs> yeah, wish me luck. This is just a little clip of the rim. It's actually busted off of that uh, Malibu. A new room costs what twenty five bucks? Thirty five and a five dollar four charge if you did bring it back, but you could get it for fifteen dollars if you recycle it. Oh. Alright. It's a rock!